Hello, my name is Douglas Block. I'm an author and mental health educator. Welcome to your Depression Recovery Channel, where each week we talk about practical tools and coping strategies for healing from depression and anxiety. In this video, we're going to talk about how you can become happier, but first we have to tell our joke, which hopefully will make you happy. So why did the chicken attend the seance? To get to the other side. <laughs> Cute. All right, well, as I said, I wanted to talk about depression and happiness today, which you might think, well, that's a contradiction in terms. I mean, uh, the number one symptom of depression is the inability to experience joy. Well, it's true, but then I picked up a book called The How of Happiness, and in it, the author made a remarkable uh, contention, and that is she said that 50% of our happiness potential is determined by our parents' biology and our genetics, which makes sense. 10% uh, by our circumstances, but that leaves 40% that is under our control. In other words, biology is not destiny. Even if uh, depression runs in the family, you can do what she calls intentional activities to make you happier. And that's what we're going to talk about in this video. This revelation has led to a whole field called the science of happiness. You go to a bookstore, you will see so many books on how to be happy, which I find ironic because America is one of the ha most unhappy cultures in the world. But anyway, uh, you know, uh, there's actually a class at Yale University. It's the most popular class on campus. It is called The Science of Happiness, uh, taught by a professor named Lori Santos. And in this, I think it's a 12-week class, she covers all these intentional activities that are, that if you practice them, can make you happier. And she calls these practices rewirements. I love that term because uh, it shows or it reminds us that the brain can be rewired and changed. And that's the whole point of this channel. And, and everything we're doing here is that, you know, again, you're not a victim of the past. There are things you can do to change the way you think and the way you feel. So the science of happiness, a very popular class at Yale. And we're going to talk about right now some of the things in that class. Some of these rewirements are found across all cultures. Take, for example, social support. We know that pretty much anywhere you go in the world, people who feel more connected and spend time with their friends and family are generally happier and less depressed than those who don't. Uh, this is why the second step of my mental health recovery program is reach out for support. Now, there are also some myths of happiness. And one of the most common propagated in this culture is, well, the more money you have, the happier you'll be, right? Uh, look, we talk about someone's net worth. Well, it turns out that if you're making a reasonable income and supporting yourself and your family, if you double or triple or quadruple that income, your happiness uh, quotient remains essentially unchanged, maybe a little bit higher, 1% or 2%. But more money doesn't really uh, in, give us the kind of the peace of mind and the less stress that we think. Uh, look at all the celebrities in rehab. Uh, if anything, some people think more money gives you more problems, but uh, the point being is that it's not the primary determiner of happiness. On the other hand, in every culture they've studied, there's a positive correlation between donating money to a charity and having an overall sense of well-being. And it doesn't even have to be a lot of money. You can donate just a little money to a cause that you believe in, and your brain will get rewired and you will feel happier. And it doesn't even have to be money. You can just donate your time and your talents through volunteering, and you will experience something called a helper's high, which is what happens to the brain, the chemicals released in the brain, when we're being of service. Here are some other uh, activities and behaviors that are taught in this class on how to become happier. Having a regular exercise routine, getting sufficient sleep, expressing appreciation for what is working in your life rather than focus on what is not working, having some important goal or sense of purpose, engaging in some form of creative self-expression, and practicing self-compassion and not beating yourself up. Do any of these things sound familiar? Well, you bet they do because they are all covered in this diagram that I've been showing you guys for 10 years called Healing from Depression, Self-Care Activities to Improve Your Mood. These are all the techniques and strategies uh, you've been learning, I've been learning, about how to heal from depression. And by the way, if you go to douglasblock.com, you'll see a downloadable PDF of this diagram that you see on the screen right now. In other words, the same tools, strategies, activities that can help you heal from depression can also increase your happiness. So, when you come out of a depressive episode, 
the same things that got you out of hell can help you stay out of hell and even feel better. And that's great news because we no longer need to make a distinction between recovering from depression on the one hand and maintaining a sense of well-being on the other. They're one and the same thing. And that means that healing from depression is not a one-time event, but an ongoing process. A process that you have some control over and a process that is proven to work among many, many people all over the globe. This has been Douglas Block. Uh, thank you for watching this video. I hope you learned something from it. And before I sign off, I want to share with you an amazing website that sums up everything that I've read about about happiness. It's got a corny name. It's called Happify.com. You got it? www.happify.com. Go to that website. You'll be amazed at what you can learn. And again, if you learned something from this video, please give it a like. Um, like straw viewers to this channel and it helps us reach more and more people. If you want to subscribe to this channel, if you haven't already done so, please click on my photo during the closing credits and you'll be taken to the subscription page. If you click on the bell just to the upper right, you'll be notified every time I do a new video or do a new live chat. And I do live chats every Sunday at noon Pacific time. And if you want to donate to this uh, channel on a regular basis, remember I said that giving to charity helps me feel happier? Well, so does giving to this uh, station. Uh, simply click on the Patreon link uh, that you'll see on the screen and you'll be taken to my crowdfunding site. And until we meet, until we meet again, I wish you much happiness. Uh, this has been Douglas Spock. See you next time.